Hello everyone, I am back to talk about 20.6, which is financial decisions. There, again, kind of is not a whole lot to discuss here on this teacher's video, but I am in 20.6 and the title is Financial Decisions. There are no um, new definitions. I just had to make sure that I was saying the right thing. There's no new definitions that you need to fill out for 20.6. This is the last one and it kind of wraps everything all into one. Um, so up, <clears throat> up here in the unlock the problem section, right here, I'm going to read straight from here. Um, and then one thing I do want to discuss is just the fact that every single decision that you make affects something else. So if you decide to spend money on one thing and then you want to buy something else, the decision that you made previously to spend money on something is now affecting everything else down the line because you have less money to spend or less money to save for other things. So making decisions about money is, they're kind of big decisions. And so you need to make sure that you're making thoughtful, wise decisions on when to spend the money and when to save money. So I'm going to read straight from this Unlock the Problem. We make decisions about spending and saving. I think everything's a decision. Everything is a choice. So you're going to need to follow the directions. See how much money you have at the end and how you can get what you need or want. So decision one, if your item that you're trying to save for, if, it, if your goal is to buy a playhouse and you earn $100 a week, you need to save $60 to pay living expenses, which means how much do you have left over to save is the $40. Then you take that $40 and see how many weeks it will take you to buy the playhouse. Now, every time you decide to buy something that does not have anything to do with the living expenses, which was those $60 from the first part of the problem, if you decide that you want to go to the movies or you decide that you want to buy a new t-shirt or you want some new nail polish, that's less money that you're going to be saving for the playhouse. So whatever you decide to spend it on, put your money on, is your decision but it's just going to take you longer to get the playhouse. So it's almost like a cost benefit analysis where you have to decide what's more important to me, the new nail polish or the new t-shirt that I want right now or getting that playhouse faster. It might be one or two extra weeks that you have to save if you decide that the t-shirt or the nail polish or whatever it is that you want right now in the moment is more important than that playhouse, that's fine. You just have to realize that there is a, like I said, a cost benefit analysis where you are going to have to wait longer to get the playhouse that you want. So everything with financial decisions, you're going to have to kind of play with the money. You're going to guess and check, see how much time it takes to um, save up for something. And if, if you come across something that is really important to you that you really, really want, then just know that it's going to take you longer to save up for that item that you're saving for. In this first decision making, it was the, it was the playhouse. Um, other things are like saving for college or saving for a new car, saving for a house. Those are really big purchases that you would have to save for. And if you have other things that come up along the way, it just might take you longer to get that new car or that new house or go on the vacation, the really expensive vacation that you want to go on. Um, so just knowing that there's always going to be a trade-off when spending and saving is the main focus on this financial decisions um, 20.6. I also did have a separate video planned for Thursday, which is just to discuss the menu board, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it now so that way there's not a whole nother video to do and upload. Um, so just with the menu board, it's the same thing that we've done before. It's the tic-tac-toe where you can choose three in a row, three down, three across, three growing diagonally, um, any three that make a tic-tac-toe, the free choice. Be creative on that. Try not to do like a brain pop or something that's super easy. Like I want this to be maybe something kind of fun and different, like mm, planning a birthday party and you have a budget and you have only a certain amount that you can spend. Do something fun and creative. The financial literacy unit um, allows for kind of a lot of different things that you can do. Maybe make a lemonade stand or start a business or something where you're having to use money to make calculations. 
Um, so again, that free choice can be kind of something a little bit more fun and, and creative. There's lots of ideas on Pinterest. I'm sure your parents know what that is. Um, and if not, then you can just choose any of the three items that I've already listed for you. Um, so those three items I'll do next week. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, but that's the end of our financial literacy unit. So everything else from this point is going to be going back and encompassing everything from 20.1 all the way through 20.6. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye, guys. Have a good rest of your week.